Hey Maxi with Breakthrough Ministries. This message is for Christians who are following Jesus with an unrenewed mind, with an attitude that I know it all, I've heard about God, I studied the Bible, but never submit to what God says. Yes, I pray, but never obey what God says. They're too complacent, enjoying the worldly pleasures and treasures. Remember Moses. He forsook the treasures and pleasures of Egypt to join the ranks of God's people, even if he meant to become a slave. Learn from that example. Learn from Jesus Christ. He separated himself on the earth to do God's will, his Father's will. And he only did what his Father was showing him. So he had that connection, intimacy. He transformed himself in human form and by the Spirit power lived a holy life. That's what we are to allow God to do in us. Renew our minds. Don't just read the Bible. Obey who wrote the Bible. In Romans 12, 2, do not copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. That is the voice of God using Paul to allow the Romans to know, hey, you Gentile nations, I also call you to this wonderful promise that I gave my people Israel, but because they failed to obey it, I'm extending it to you. In equal manner today, if you're alive on this earth, the Lord, Jesus Christ, extend his good news, which is a message of salvation through the blood of Jesus to you also, to extract you from this world, separate you to do his work and live holy life. See, many things sound very good from religion to theories to humanistic points of view to logic to reasoning and all of this may the it's like a delusion may entice you to believe that it is actually true but it's not how do i know that because god says it in colossians 2 8 and let's go there i was just having this conversation with somebody but it seems to be weekly. Colossians 2, 8. Do not let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. There you have it. So, Christians, if you're doing yoga, don't say, well, it's Christian yoga. If you're smoking marijuana, don't say it's just for recreational purpose or medicinal, recreational purpose, you know, every now and then. If you are praying to Mary, <laughs> she's a dead person. If you're idolizing the Pope or anybody's been dead, idolatry. God says, do not imitate the custom of these nations. Remember the voice from God to Adam and Eve in Genesis 1. Do not eat from this tree, for you shall surely die. But, but before that, before the end of that verse, it says that you can freely eat from all of these trees that I'm giving you, which is the tree of life, Jesus Christ, what he would allow for them to eat, to eat to believe, to see, to experience in Christ. Imperfection, by the way, in complete harmony with God's spirit before they sin, before disobey. So not everything that is thrown at you from the world, you are to accept. Why don't you believe that? God is not impressed with you doing yoga or mixing yourself with the spiritual powers of this world. You allow new age to come into your mind and then bring to the church that stuff and contaminating yourself and others. Don't think God doesn't see that. Yeah, God knows my heart. Yeah, that is wicked. That needs to be transformed and your mind renewed 
to think like he does. I believe it's enough of what we have experienced individually, collectively, that we are need we are in need to purify ourselves. We need to allow God to take that transformation in us. We cannot just pretend to go on like we are. Evaluate yourself and know where, where you are with the Lord, based and measured by the faith that God has given you. And if you don't know, by the way, God is going to send people or has in past tense already sent you people to align, to, to align you with his will, to warn you to depart from these wicked ways. And this is just out of mercy, by the way. So allow those people to speak into your life. Do not reject them. Remember 2 Chronicles 20:20. 20, 20, Believe the Lord your God and you will succeed. Believe in his prophets and you will prosper. God has sent prophets, people, messengers to you over and over, from generation to generation, to generation, today. He's still sending and will continue to send his people to give you messages. Just like they spoke into my life early on and are still speaking every now and then. I get a phone call and it's to speak into my life that I need to hear. I gladly accept it because I know it comes from the Lord. I know so. So this message is for you. If you are entangled with that and when you entangle yourself with it, depart from it. Remain pure for the Lord. In the name of Jesus, may your life be fruitful. May you multiply in the knowledge of God and in the fruitfulness, in the fruitfulness and holiness that comes through knowing Him, the King of Kings.